Live streaming has swept social media, and I know you're probably thinking, I don't need another live streaming option. But I had the same thoughts until I tried Blab. Blab is changing the live streaming game and allowing you to have real conversations with your audience. It's an incredible tool, and today's tutorial is all about Blab. Combining some of the best features from Periscope, Meerkat, and Google Hangouts on air, you can stream with up to three other people in Blab. And one of the other great features about Blab is that you can stream from your desktop, from your web browser, and you don't have to rely on a mobile device. However, if you're on an iOS device, you can visit the mobile Blab website, which I'll link to below, and you can stream from your mobile device as well. Welcome to the Blab website. So you can sign up with Twitter, and you can sign in on the top right hand corner. I'll sign in because I already have an account. So on the home page you'll find what's live right now and you can join any of these blabs and start watching them. You'll see how many viewers are at the top. You'll see who's involved uh, on screen here and you'll see the comment section on the right hand side. This is where you can introduce yourself and then you can tweet this out. And on the right hand side of the home page, you'll see suggested users for you to follow. So you can take a look through that. And blabs are categorized in three different uh, sections. So there's tech, business, and general. And keep in mind that blab is still in beta format. So this is going to be changing a lot over the next couple of months. So that's an overview of Blab, and now I want to show you how to use it. I had a few friends join me and give me a really quick little tutorial, and here are some of the highlights from my very first Blab to help you out when you start doing your own. So we're going to start a new Blab. Uh, I'm going to do Blab tutorial, and I'm inviting my friend uh, Vincenzo Landino to uh, the, the stream because he's actually a live stream expert. So I want to get his take on the latest live stream platform. We'll call this a business conversation because we're going to talk about how you can use it for business. And you can schedule your blabs for up to a month in advance, which is a really great feature. But we're going to go live right now. So I'll start my blab. And this is my very first blab. Um, so yeah, I'm learning right along with you. Hi. Um, and I'm just going to share this on Twitter right here. Make sure I tag Vincenzo so he actually joins the conversation. Except. Hey! Hey, how are you? Okay, so I'm exec accepting David too. So hang on. Hey, Sonny, how you doing? I'm good, good. how are you? Great, great. I'm noticing that you're, this is your first blab. This is my first blab. I'm trying to figure it all out. So uh, how do I invite somebody to blab? Or can, uh, can right I? Now. You don't invite people. The best way to get people into your audience in here is to get them to your, especially you that you have a pretty large following in Periscope, is kind of get on Periscope first. Okay. It's two different, people keep on comparing them and it's actually like two different platforms. Oh, I'm not recording. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm screencasting on my computer, but I'm not recording this. So I'll hit record on here. He just got, oh, there he is. Thanks for showing up, Ben. <laughs> I think I confused him. Okay, I'm going to accept now. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> Confusing me is not the hardest thing to do in the world. So. Um, first question is, obviously, Blob's being compared to Periscope, Meerkat, and Google Hangouts on air. So one sentence, how does it compare, and why should people be using Blob? Periscope, Meerkat, any of those tools are one to all, so it's a broadcast. Whereas this is a conversation one to one to one to one, and then we have the you know we have the chat feature here. The difference with Google Hangouts, I've found so far, this is so much more seamless. It seems a lot smoother. Plus, it adds the conversation from viewers, which you don't get on Google Hangouts. Um, so there's my differences. Okay, David. Yeah, I tend to agree with both of them. Basically. Um, collab is more of a interpersonal type thing. Everybody basically you know, talk to each other, and you also have the people in the chat room shooting out questions and all that. With Meerkat and Periscope, again, I see it a more of a one-sided thing. You're the center of attraction, and you got to be on top of the comments and everything. So this one, for me, it flows a hundred times easier, so a ton more comfortable. So I stick with this one more. 
as far as like the after show, as I was saying, and Periscope is more like your main show. The second question is um, business case for Blab. I've read a few things, obviously, when it comes to politics, this could be an amazing tool for debates. Um, what do you guys see it being used as when it comes to business uses and corporations? Um, are any brands jumping on board right now or is it still very early for that? So are we going with me first again? <laughs> if you want to. You don't, see, you don't seem excited about it. I think it's great it. for customer support. I don't know. If, I think it can be widely adapted for customer support. You can eat great customer feedback. I, I don't know about brands using it either, but I could definitely see it, like Brandon said, as a great customer service tool. I mean, imagine brands being able to flip on a blab leaving it on for however long their customer service hours are open for, and you get somebody live or you get four people live, you get like a tech support and you just sit there and you let people come in and chat. I mean, that's an option. Is there, is there a, can you do private blabs? Like if it's for internal meetings? No, you're not able to do not that. Yet. Not yet. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Cause this is a tutorial. So I want to make sure people no. understand how to, <laughs> Hey, this, I will, I will X you out of here. No, I know I know how to use it. <laughs> um, Okay, as far as these feels, because the feels are kind of like Periscope hearts, obviously. Um, how do they work? Who can give me a quick overview breakdown of what exactly they are and how they work? They have no value right now, well, other than other than per blab. What does that mean? Right. They do not accumulate like in Periscope. In Periscope, right. you got like you know the people that basically try to get to the leaderboard. To, you know, here is when people feel that uh, they like what you're talking about, they'll start tapping on you. Slash Q, space, and then type your question. Uh, they want to know how you're putting up the uh, text overlay. Okay, the, this is a program. This one's for the Mac. It's called Cam Twist. And you would go into camtwiststudios.com, and you should download the beta version 3.0. Okay. If you're using a PC, the one that they're using, it's called Manicam which are basically it's kind of like the same thing. I just changed the title. On the on the message board down here, where it says uh, type something cool, you put, you put backslash topic. Backslash topic. Right. And whatever it is that you want to call the uh, space okay. and whatever you want to call the, the call. Okay. Gotcha. Look at that. Hey, Sean Ayala. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye. And the great thing is, because I recorded my Blab, I was sent an audio file and the video file so I could repurpose it for other social content or directly upload it to YouTube. So as an overview, I think some of the best cases for using Blab are podcasting as well as customer service, being able to show your customers that you're a real person and have live interactions with them, as well as debates and discussions around hot topics in your industry or your niche. If you have ideas on how to use Blab or how you're using Blab for your brand or personal branding, uh, make sure you leave them in the comments section below and we can get a discussion going around this topic. I put links to all of the tools we mentioned in this tutorial below this video, so make sure you check them out. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because I post new video marketing and social media tutorials every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.